So we need a lot more lava, because as it stands, this machine here that makes our blaze cakes is just sat idle, because it's not got enough lava coming in from our lava farm. And we actually expanded our lava farm by quite a lot, and there's a decent amount of cauldrons in here, but it's clearly not up to the task. So we need to get a lot more lava. And do you know where the best place to get lava is? I'd say probably the massive lava ocean that we have in the nether. So then the real question becomes, how do we get the lava from the nether? over to our base in the overworld well that is where trains come in and i want to make an absolute monster of a train in order to get the lava across that joke will make a little bit more sense later on or if you've just looked at the thumbnail because it's in there now we have two problems here firstly our nether portal is way oh my god what was that Oh, there's a ghast. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, well uh, let's not try and fight this ghast. Let's just try and run away because I do not have any uh, good stuff to fight it with. Well, that was unexpected. But as I was saying, we have a slight problem with our nether portal in the nether and we've kind of fixed it with this one. And that is that it is way too small to get a train through. It's also way up in the sky and we need to get to the lava. So I think we're going to need to go and move it. I think this time we're actually going to get our armor out though, because that was a little bit terrifying. So what we need to do is make our way down to the lava and try and slowly not get ourselves bumped off by that ghast. It seems to have disappeared and I don't trust it, but we need to make ourselves a lovely little platform so that we can start pulling all of the lava out. And if I've done my maths correctly here, this should lead out right at our base. So let's light it and give it a go. Hopefully we should end up at our lava farm. Okay, so that is one problem solved. The other problem is that in order to build our train, we're going to need some train casings. And thankfully, the quest log has been updated to make trains super early in the game now, so they are much, much more accessible. So it looks like the first thing we need to do is make ourselves some crushing wheels. And crushing wheels are actually used for a bunch more stuff than just train casings, so it's going to be really good to have these up and about. But they do definitely require a much bigger mechanical crafting system than what we've got here. I think we're going to need a 5x5, five five, so we're going to need to make a few more of those as well. So I may have miscalculated slightly and accidentally made it 6x5, but I guess that will do for the time being. So what we need to do now is stick in stone and then planks there. And then if we've done it right, which let's be honest, it's me. So probably not. We should be able to do all of that. And then if I hit this, is it going to work? That is the question. Oh, it's so slow. Come on, let's let's speed this up. Let's get some blaze cakes, get this going even quicker. You know what? By the time we've done this, we probably could have just had it all finished. There we go. Okay, it's going slightly quicker. Is it going quicker? Maybe I'm just making it up, but it's nearly done either way. There we go. One crushing wheel. Oh, it actually gives us two. Okay, cool. We get both of the crushing wheels that we need and task completed. But I've just realized we have a slight problem because we don't have a wall to put these on anymore. And we actually don't have anywhere to build train casings either. I guess we're going to have to expand the base slightly or actually much better idea. We can just expand our current lava farm so that when the train comes in here, it can pick up and drop off all of the lava and all of that good stuff. But we can have our train room, I'm thinking, behind this wall and then that's also going to give us future expansions back over there. So I think I made a little bit of a mistake because I quite like this block palette that we've decided to go for. However, we've decided to make the floor out of brass casings. Now, the problem with that is that each single brass casing requires one copper and one zinc to be able to make it. And if we have a look down here, you'll see that I ran out of brass and therefore we've just got strip logs just sat there waiting to be converted. Thankfully, though, we already made half a solution to this because I've made this three in one copper, gold and nether quartz farm. Now, how this works is really cool. So we've got an igneous extruder hidden back there, and that is pulling cobblestone into the crusher. The crusher is then turning that into gravel, pushing it over here, and then that gravel is being turned into sand. Now, the sand travels up here and down through the chute. If it is set to the quartz mode, what will happen is that sand will turn into soul sand. It will then drop through this chute, and then it will be washed and turned into nether quartz and the occasional bit of gold. However, if we pull this lever here, 
it will bypass this nether quartz filter and what will happen instead is the sand will just get washed normally and when that eventually does it it will come out as copper now i really like this farm we could probably make it even quicker if we put in some more crushes or extra upgrades but it seems to be doing pretty well so far now zinc is another question what we need to do in order to get zinc is we need to run some stone through some crushing wheels and that'll give us a 10 percent chance to get a zinc nugget which means that that on average we will need a stack of stone for every single zinc that we want so we need a fast way of producing stone and we need to run these crushing wheels extremely quickly and that's going to require us to automatically feed these blazes now if i know how to do this correctly we should be able to set it all like that and that should be nice and simple to do and then we just want to add a clutch here because i want to be able to turn it on and off and then if we just put a cog wheel here hopefully that is going to grab those and yeah let's just get to the top here it is slowly feeding all of these and turning them into the blue blazes and that means that we can have everything running at full power all of the time. All right, so that looks like it is spinning pretty quickly. So let's throw a stack of stone in and see how well that does. Oh, wow, that was much quicker than I was expecting. Okay, we got ourselves. There we go. <laughs> My mouth is apparently pretty good. One full zinc nugget from one stack of stone so now we just need to do that a bunch more times and then we should have enough brass to finish this room and there we go one completed zinc farm and it's actually it runs a little bit quicker than i thought it did so you know what i'll i'll take it i need to neaten up this back bit though because it looks a little bit weird but overall pretty happy with that i'm not quite sure why that one just fell through but you know clearly not a lossless farm i guess oh wait i've also just realized something so i've been digging this thing out using a flux bore and it's pretty cool but it takes a while to break blocks and yes i could put efficiency on it and all that sort of stuff however there's something much better and i thought this was much later game but it's actually accessible really early on and that is our good old friend the atomic disassembler it turns out that that's actually not that difficult to make all we need to do is make ourselves an osmium compressor which is actually not that difficult to do we just need a piston and then we can make the compressor a little bit of refined obsidian dust and a few enriched diamonds mix a bunch of those together in a blaze burner which has been fed some blaze cakes and just like that we have ourselves an atomic disassembler and for those of you that don't know why this is so awesome, let me show you. We just need to charge it up first. It does take quite a lot of energy to get this all fully charged. But then if we want to mine out, let's say this floor, well, it becomes a lot easier to mine this out. This is not creative. This is survival. And there you go. That's that entire area completely done. No need for enchantments, just a lovely bright blue pickaxe. And I am so happy that we've got this because I have been driving myself insane with all of the pickaxes I've gone through. So this is the best thing that I could ever have unlocked. I am one happy hellfire. So there we go, one finished train room. Now let's check what we actually need to do in order to make this train up and running. It looks like one of the first things we need is to make the train tracks and in order to make the train tracks we just need iron nuggets and some slabs so that is nice and easy for us to make now because it's a lava farm i want some crimson stem because we can make ourselves some crimson tracks with the new steam and rails update that has been added to the pack so that means we've got things like invisible train tracks and conductors and all of that sort of good stuff that i'm sure we will go into at some point but for now we just need to grab ourselves as much of this as we can and then we can make a bunch of rails and if we have made this properly we should be able to just stick those in there and then we should end up with some nice crimson train tracks that is awesome i absolutely love that and now in order to get some train casings what we're going to need to do is throw some obsidian in here 
this normally takes a while to grind up but we're running these pretty quickly so hopefully it will only take a few seconds but once this is all ground down it will give us there we go some powdered obsidian we can take it over here add it on there and then that should lava stamp and stamp and then give us the sturdy sheets and then if we just grab those sturdy sheets i will actually just show you on the floor because i forgot to bring any you can just right click and it will turn your normal casings your brass casings into train casings and now we just need to replace the floor and that is the basics that we need to make the train there's a couple of little bits that we need to do to make like the controls and that sort of stuff but this is pretty much trains all started so let's head over to the nether and get our system set up so i've made this very basic setup hopefully facing the correct way so that the train can come in here and then it will have a tank here to fill up with lava and we will deal with the return journey a little bit later on so what we need is we need a train station about i get i guess about here in order to pick up the lava and then we can start creating the train adding a train case in there and this is the very start of our train that we need to build up now i have a very specific design in mind that i want to use for this train and that's that i want to turn it into a lava monster because then we have a lava monster delivering lava to our base which i think is going to be super cool now thankfully i already have all of the ingredients that i need in order to do that but there is one problem and you'll see what that is in a moment so let me build this train up and then you can see just how awesome it looks so this is the sort of design that i'm going for i quite like it although i think we can make it look a little bit angrier if we choose something like blackstone scales rather than blackstone bricks there's a bunch of things that chips adds to the blocks and then we can sort of make that a little bit better however at the moment it's just a face so we need to come around the back and add some fluid tanks or something like that on there we've got the train but we've not got sort of any actual functionality so let's see if we can improve it and i think we should probably add like a crown or something that might make it look even better all right, you know what? I am happy with this. This looks like a good lava train. Now we actually just need to fill it with lava. And I think I have a good idea on how to do that. So what we've done here is set up one of the portable fluid interfaces. It's kind of like what we use for the sugarcane farm, except it is using fluids instead of items. And then we've got this massive tank here. We may have had to take like an hour break while I went and farmed up some copper. But there you go. It seems to be working okay. And now we just need to actually fill up this tank. And then with a bit of luck, our fluid train should be working and we should have a cool monster lava train and i've had to put two sets of controls just so they can go backwards and forwards will it work i guess we will see so what we need to fill this up is a hose pulley now we are using create mechanized so we should be using the mechanical pipes to get this to fill even quicker no pumps required and then if i get rid of these and just use a normal hand crank on here hopefully there we go that's going all the way down and i'm just going to keep sending it all the way to the bottom as far as i can you know what this is probably good enough there we go and then with some luck look at that it's filling it it's filling it completely oh that is amazing and because this is such a massive lava pole it is going to be classed as infinite and it will never ever run out so we officially have an infinite source of lava now i'm not sure why this isn't working there's got to be a reason why the portable fluid interfaces aren't kind of going together and i think the reason is probably because we're going to need to do a pipe into that so that then that fills with lava and maybe we need to like drive this forwards or backwards or something so that it kind of goes together oh 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 oh, oh. we didn't glue it on that's why okay right let's uh, let's try that again there we go now it's working we just needed a little bit of glue and look at that it is now filling up nicely i think it's going to do it one at a time but you know what 
that's fine. We've got more lava than we could ever use. And that is our fully done lava train. I am super happy with how this has turned out. But we do need a driver and we do need a way to actually store the lava once it's back at the base. So I think we need to just make a few tweaks before we finish for the day. So first thing for us to do is to get rid of all of the cauldrons because we don't need any of these anymore. And then we have to get rid of all the pipes that are full of lava. So that should be fun. But we'll see how catastrophically bad that goes. So that is all of the cauldrons all cleared out. And I've added a set of train tracks that runs from the portal all the way over here. And we have a fluid storage tank here. Now I'm not quite sure where the interface is going to line up. Or if it's even going to line up on the correct direction. So what we're going to have to do is just for the time being stick a train station um i guess just here that that'll do for now and then we'll line it up and then we can always fix it later on if we need to so let's go grab our train and see what happens when we bring it over here it also just occurred to me that i don't know if this is going to go through the portal because the portal is definitely not big enough so um yeah, well, let's let's see what happens. So we control the train. Hopefully, as soon as it touches this, it goes through. A carriage has reached the end of its track. Interesting. So it doesn't quite link up. Oh, I see what's happened. We moved the other side. So that has now moved that track. Okay, fair enough. We can fix that pretty easily, I hope. Okay, that should have done it. So hopefully, second time lucky. Let's see if this one goes through. Oh, it might have done. Oh, we, we have a slight issue. Um, okay, well, we're definitely going to need to redesign this room because I did not think this through in the slightest. Whoops. But you know what? I think that's where we're going to leave it for today because that seems like an absolute gigantic task for us to try and fix that and we just don't have time to do that. So we are going to leave it there for today. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and join the Discord because we have an awesome community and I'd love to see you there. Thanks very much for watching everyone. I've been Hellfire Mage and I will see you next time.